Nigel, morning to you. What did you make of the FA Cup first round draw yesterday for the second successive season? Stags are away at Sunderland. Afternoon, Steve. Oh, it's, uh, it, it's quite staggering to draw the same team at the same stage two years running uh, away from home as well. Uh, and I think technically, uh, I think they've got the one point off the top with a couple of games in hand. So when they, when they win one of those, technically it is the hardest draw <laughs> that any team can get in the first round, which about sums up how things are going at the moment. Uh, but lovely uh, opportunity to go and play on the stadium a lot um, and, and try and repeat last year's uh, performance but I think they're a completely different animal uh, at this stage than they were 12 months ago. You'll have fans back for that one as well. Yeah, that'd be nice. Yeah, I remember going up; it was quite eerie in the stadium of light because that's one of those stadiums when there's you know twenty odd thousand or whatever thirty odd thousand in there. It's a special place to play football. Uh, so, and I think with them doing ever so well, great start in the league, and the Lee Johnson delighted for them. Uh, I think there'll still be a decent crowd for the FA Cup. Ironic as well that it will mark a year to the day as uh, your appointment at Mansfield as manager. You're assuming we get to that point. You will. <laughs> well, after Saturday, when you said we were demoralised and players were going through the motions, we're not so sure. There were questions, there weren't statements. Yeah, I know, I know. We're all a bit low at the moment and uh, we're sort of uh, relying on all, I think it's 23 years ago this week, actually, since we first started in this sort of management uh, business. And having been involved now, how old are you now, Steve? Oh, I don't usually disclose it publicly. Well, that's usually your lady's response. <laughs> <laughs> All right then, mid thirties. Mid thirties, you're very vague. Uh, you know, we've been around football now. I've been for fifty years and directly involved for nearly forty, playing and managing. So we've had some ups and downs over those uh, over those times. Uh, and we know in football that uh, certain things happen. You try everything you can, uh, and certain circumstances conspire against you. And we understand that patience is a wears thin very quickly in football with everybody. Uh, under no illusions about that. You know, we think there's mitigating circumstances for our results of late, uh, but we understand once again that that won't uh, count for much if we don't start getting results sooner or later. Uh, so I uh, hope it starts tomorrow nice again, night against Port Vale and we're still around uh, come the time against Sunderland in a few weeks' time. Yeah, let's certainly hope so. Out of those decades that you mentioned, is this the most challenging period you've experienced? Yeah, I think as a manager, uh, I think we've always... Uh, sort of being able to put teams on the pitch after a certain being there. When you inherit players, whatever, uh, then you need to change, you know, or usually you get a job because uh, the team's struggling. The only exception was that one at uh, Burton when we took over when they were top of the league and managed to get them promoted and then stayed a year in the championship, which was uh, miraculous considering the club's uh, size of the club. Um, so I think we lost uh, when we first went into Burton and the Dr Martins. We lost five consecutive home games. Uh, one to a local team called Atherston and beat us 4-5-0, turned us over a couple of years running actually and uh, so you draw on all those ex all those sort of experiences uh, and also what we were doing six, eight weeks ago when we were all fantastic and brilliant and we won our first two games and we looked to get a draw at Colchester and we were playing well even in the Bradford games and the Preston defeat and the Swindon defeat, uh, we are doing the same sort of things as we were doing then so if they're wrong what we're doing now, why weren't they wrong eight weeks ago? You mentioned there about that uh, that undesirable run at Burton. Do you look back on similar periods you've had as a manager that, that are challenging, that have been challenging, and see what you did then, or can't they be comparable to, to today because of circumstances? I think the circumstances we've encountered have, have, have been nothing like we, we've had over the years. That's the thing. With the combination of injuries, suspensions uh, and decisions, uh, those three things, uh, that's what we've, I think we've been found most difficult to fathom and to cope with. Uh, usually you get three or four players out at one time, maybe five at the worst. Uh, but to start a season only a, what, a couple of months ago or something like that and then be down to only sort of three players uh, of the team that won the first couple of games. I uh, don't think that's happened too many times, but I don't think it's happened to too many teams either in football, uh, certainly not at this season. You said it early, you said it after Saturday and it's no real surprise that the, the squad is low on confidence at the moment. How can you go about lifting that, that morale, that confidence? If you can. Well, we put Saturday behind us very quickly. Uh, there's no point in lingering on that. You deal with it and you get it over with uh, as soon as possible because you, you've got three days and then you've got another game and we have to focus on that, uh, which is what we're doing. Uh, and it's an opportunity, like every game, to get three points to put performance on. And you want the players who 
out there uh, tomorrow night, we're going to say, yeah, we know we were crap on Saturday, we know we were below par, but uh, we're going to fight and we're going to scrap uh, as we are, as, a, as I am as a manager and we are as a staff, because we like it. We like being here. We think it's a good club. And, you know, working with David, we think they've got good owners. We've got very, say, David's probably one of the best chief execs in the country. So we're delighted working with him. But occasionally, we like working with you as well, <laughs> which surprised us from what people had said about you. But uh, so we do, and you like it here. Supporters have been since the day we came in, you know, from when we've seen them, have been absolutely brilliant. Uh, and we want to try and get success for the club. Be careful, or you might not make it to that one-year anniversary. I've told you, every, <laughs> that's always a possibility. And we're not under no illusions about that, you know. Uh, that uh, that's comes with the territory, you know. When, you, when you're brought up in the house that we were brought up in, uh, you're aware pretty much every day that that was a possibility. You have got a big boost tomorrow. Stephen Quinn is back. What lift does that give you? I think it gives everybody a big lift, uh, certainly the squad. Uh, because when we've been training for the last uh, four weeks where he's been out, suspended, uh, even even this morning, players see his quality. Uh, he's the sort of lad that you give the ball to. Uh, him, it was him and sort of James Perch. They are our best players. They were. Our, they are our most experienced players. Uh, and the reason they play at the highest level, and even though they're mid-30s now, uh, they're still very, very good players. We miss Perchy every single game, every single day in training, uh, and we can't now address that probably until January. Uh, but if we'd have got the players in maybe in the summer that we would have wanted, no fault of anybody's, you know, the chairman backed us with the deals and everything, we just missed out on them for various reasons, uh, which happens. Uh, and then you've got to wait till January and we've got to try and survive till then. Uh, but having Quinny back just on the pitch certainly lift everybody. Port Vale tomorrow then, I think they're the form side in Skybet League 2 in the last uh, eight matches, full of encouraging stats for you. Uh, what, what's your assessment of their, their season so far, Nigel? I think they've had a brilliant start under, under Darrell Clark. Uh, you know, when we played them at the end of last season, it's funny, we were absolutely superb on last day, last season, won 3-0 at Port Vale. Um, since then, he's changed a whole lot around. I think there's only one or two probably uh, from that team will be around. Uh, he signed 15 new players in the summer, um, and I think they've got a, uh, a great chance of, uh, of staying up there. They've got a really good team at the top. I mean, you mentioned yourself and, and uh, David Sharp. They've got a, a good team as well, haven't they? And David Flickcroft and, and Daryl Clark, full of experience. Yeah, and obviously ex, uh, ex Stags employees, uh, employees as well. So uh, they'll be, I think, looking to uh, to put one over on, on us tomorrow night. I'm sure. Uh, so we've got all that to contend with, and a couple of ex players coming back as well. But it'd be nice to see uh, to Mal and Stoney because uh, two good lads. Do you fancy Port Vale this season? Yeah, I think so. If they keep people fit as well. Uh, and I think they strengthen in January probably if they need to. I think they had the takeover, didn't they, last season and mm. everything. So um, they're on a, a high at the moment. Uh, but it won't take too much for us to get back on a high as well. We just need players back and results. It's sometimes, if not often, the measure of a club, isn't it? When the uh, run of results are not what we all want them to be. How important, genuinely, will those supporters be tomorrow night in the home ends? Well, that's, the, uh, that's been the the best thing about it so far that I think there's been a level of understanding from the vast majority of supporters uh, to our plight and our situation and I think that's why they've stuck with us. Uh, we have to give them something now uh, to keep that faith uh, with us uh, and that starts tomorrow night. Are you calling for patience also with the mitigating circumstances? Yeah, but we understand that. As we said that wears thin uh, in football very quickly, more so than uh, probably in other sports and, and other areas of life. But uh, say we're, we're fully aware of, of that and fully aware of the hopes uh, and expectations of the club. Uh, you know, everybody would like us to be up there challenging, uh, which we hoped we would be, especially after the start we had. Uh, and we can still do it. We just need a couple of breaks. Uh, and to get a three points sooner rather than later. Very best of luck tomorrow. Thank you.